Have you ever wondered how the birth of a child could stir a kingdom? Such was the case in Bethlehem, in the time of King Herod, with the birth of a child destined to be the king of the Jews. From the east, guided by a star, came the Magi, wise men seeking to worship the newborn king. Their journey was not unnoticed. King Herod, disturbed by the news of another king's birth, sought counsel from the chief priests and teachers of the law. The scriptures, they said, prophesied the Messiah's birth in Bethlehem. In secret, Herod summoned the Magi. He feigned reverence, asking about the star's appearance and requesting they report back once they found the child, under the guise of wishing to pay his own respects. With this charge, the Magi set forth, guided by the star towards the child. They were unaware that their journey, their quest to pay homage to the newborn king, had set in motion a series of events that would echo through history. As the Magi left to find the child, little did they know the part they would play in events to come. What if a dream could save a life? Imagine the night, still and quiet, broken only by the Magi, wise men from the east, finding their way to a humble abode in Bethlehem. There, cradled in his mother Mary's arms, was Jesus. The Magi, filled with profound reverence, worshipped the newborn king, presenting him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But the story takes a turn as the Magi, warned in a dream, chose not to return to King Herod, who harbored ill intent towards the baby Jesus. In the silence of another night, Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, was also touched by the hand of a dream. An angelic messenger warned him of Herod's deadly plan. Without hesitation, Joseph took Mary and Jesus, fleeing to the safety of Egypt. Their flight was not a random choice. It was a fulfillment of an ancient prophecy that God would call his son out of Egypt. In this foreign land, they found sanctuary, a shelter from the storm stirred by Herod's fury. In a land far from home, they found refuge, waiting for the danger to pass. Can a prophecy shape the path of a life? As we delve deeper, we find King Herod, his heart filled with fury and deceit. In a cruel twist of fate, he orders the massacre of all boys in Bethlehem under the age of two, a brutal act that fulfills the prophecy of Jeremiah. As the dust settles on this dark chapter, we find Joseph, a man led by divine guidance. After Herod's death, an angel visits him in a dream, a beacon of hope, urging him to return to Israel, for those who sought to harm Jesus were no more. Yet, even as a sense of calm descends, Joseph hears of Archelaus reigning in Judea, and fear seizes him. But divine intervention is never far, and he is warned in a dream to steer clear of Judea. Guided by this celestial warning, Joseph makes a decision, a decision that would shape history. He chooses to settle in a small, inconspicuous town, Nazareth. And so, the prophecy is fulfilled once more. Jesus, the child who would grow into a man of profound influence, would be known as a Nazarene. In the humble town of Nazareth, the story of the Nazarene was just beginning. If you like our stories, subscribe to see new arrivals at Bible Story Box.